Welcome back to another SpaceX Updates video. SpaceX has begun its final round of pre-flight tests for the fourth Starship test flight. Yesterday, Starship S-29, stacked atop Super Heavy Booster 11, underwent a partial cryogenic test in preparation for a full wet dress rehearsal, simulating a launch without igniting the engines. We can expect this rehearsal soon, potentially followed by a final de-stacking and a return of the ship to the build site for final checks and decals. SpaceX officials have indicated a potential launch window for the fourth flight in late May or early June. According to Elon Musk, the primary objective of this flight is to have the ship surpass max heating, aiming to exceed the progress made in the previous flight. What are your expectations for Flight 4? Let me know in the comments. Earlier this week, Starship S-31 experienced an anomaly during cryogenic testing at Massey's site, with bright flashes suggesting a possible electrical issue. Fortunately, the anomaly did not cause significant damage, and the ship was returned to the build site for inspection. This was the first Starship anomaly during testing in a considerable time. SpaceX also started transporting the first two second Starship Tower segments from the port of Brownsville to Starbase. These tower segments were originally assembled in Florida and later shipped to the port of Brownsville. Additionally, Starship Gazer caught a glimpse of the first known Starship V2 component, a forward flap with a new design. Continuing its impressive launch cadence, SpaceX is targeting tonight for the launch of its 51st mission of the year, Starlink 6-59. This mission will carry 23 Starlink satellites from SLC-40 in Florida at 8.32 p.m. Eastern Time. The first stage booster on this mission, B-1062 will be the first in history to fly on its 21st flight. Check out the link at the end of the video for the live stream. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.